Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Monday, May 13th. What's going on today? Yeah, May 13th. Um, let's see. I don't think there's any birthdays. <coughs> May. Nope. No birthdays. Let's see. Um, weather. Right now, hold on. Yeah, right now it's a it's 56, feels like 54. It's supposed to be a high of 76 and a low of 59 tonight. Mostly cloudy, slight chance of a rain shower. Winds west southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We have humidity at 56% and sunset is at 8:26 p.m. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, today's national day. Today's national frog jumping day. National frog jumping day. Um, in, in 1865, Mark Twain published his first short story, Jim Smiley and His Jumping Frog. Later, he changed the name and published it as The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. This same story also had a third title, The Notorious Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. The current frog jumping record was set in 1986 by Rosie the Riveter, who jumped 21 feet 5 3 quarter inches. There you have it, you guys. Today's wisdom quote. It's not stress that kills us. It is our reaction to it by Hans Selye. And today's word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. And exceed. Exceed. Exceed is a verb. One, agree to a demand, request, or treaty. Two, assume an office or position. Or three, become a member of a community or organization. Okay. So there is that. Okay, it was Readeth on Weekend. How did you guys do that did this? And if you didn't, what did you do over the weekend? Did you stitch? Did you diamond paint, color? What is it that you did? All I did was read. I also watched Eurovision's finals. Yeah, let us talk about that. I will probably sound like I'm ranting, and yeah, it it um, that's probably what's gonna happen. Let's see, where is Friday? Okay, Saturday. I did do a morning video Saturday. So I did tell you about the two books that I read on Friday and Sunday.
so hold on Okay, if you want to know about the books, that's all I did this weekend. I didn't do any stitching. But let's do Eurovision first. So, I didn't know about Eurovision till Tuesday night. And it was on, the semifinals part one was on 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Peacock. So, I ended up watching it. Wednesday. So in part one, I liked Lithuania, Ireland, United Kingdom, Ukraine, Croatia, Iceland. The woman from Iceland had a great voice. Um, Germany and Finland. Okay. So on out of all of those, the ones that went to the finals was Lithuania, Ukraine, and Finland. And Croatia. So I like Lithuania, Ukraine, Finland, and Croatia. The other ones that moved ahead was Serbia, Portugal, Slovenia, Cyprus, Ireland, and Luxembourg. Cyprus reminded me and Justin of um, a Britney Spears vibe. And then there was another woman, and I can't remember what country she was from. She gave us a Lady Gaga vibe. And then there was one... Oh, that'll be Thursday. Um, that reminded us of it had a Madonna vibe and her voice. Oh my gosh, she sounded like she sounded like Madonna. Anyways, that's what went on to the finals from semifinals part one. Then Thursday I watched it live at 3 p.m. And I liked Albania, Czechia. France. Austria is the voice that reminded me of Madonna. She sounded just like Madonna and wore an outfit that Madonna would wear. I liked Latvia, Spain, San Martino. Um, <clears throat> so Denmark was one of my favorites from Thursday. We had Spain. San, Mar San Marino was another one that I really, really liked. Then we had Georgia. Belgium, he was another one. I loved his music. Israel, I really liked. Norway, I really liked. And the Netherlands, I really liked. So from that group, the winners from that group was from that, from Thursday, was Latvia that I wanted to move ahead. Let's see. Austria. Did Austria go ahead? Yeah. Why did I do that? Okay, so the winners that moved ahead was Latvia, Austria, who I liked. I liked Aust I liked Latvia. The Netherlands, who I liked. Norway, who I liked. Israel, who I liked. Greece, Estonia, Switzerland, who I could not stand, Georgia, and Armenia. Okay. So we get to Saturday. We get up Saturday morning. And we find out that the Netherlands had been disqualified because I, I still don't know the whole story. 
I guess he said some really nasty things to a camera person, and the next thing I heard, he had been arrested. So he was disqualified. That's a shame. Okay. So we get to Saturday afternoon at 3, and now the finals are on. Now, I had messaged... Um, Justin, Saturday morning, are you coming over? He said, yes, I'll be over early. And I said, well, we're watching Eurovision. Um, he didn't know what it was. I said, I think you'll like it. So I played a little bit of the music off of YouTube for him to listen to from the semifinals. And he was like me. He really, really liked Denmark. And I said, well, she didn't make it. Not right, but hell. She, I, I don't understand where people like Switzerland. So anyways, he came early and I'm like, I don't know what he means by early. He's usually here like around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little bit earlier. But he's not usually really early. So I'm thinking, well, maybe his wash machine died. Because Saturday mornings he does his laundry. So I'm thinking maybe he's bringing his laundry over to wash. I, I don't know why he's going to be early. So I happened to be in the kitchen and I looked out and I'm going, Justin's here already? And it's like after 10. What? It is really early. So I told Scott and Scott says, oh, yeah, he's going to his trunk. And I said, well, maybe he's bringing laundry. I says, and he, he, he brings his laptop. Maybe the laptop's in the trunk. So I leave the room and I hear Scott say, and no, he's got, like, plants. Plants? So I sneak a look out. I said, those look like rose bushes. Yep, he got me four rose bushes, four of them. Three are hybrids and three is a regular rose bush. So that was my Mother's Day gift. So, yeah, when he came in, I told, you know, we're talking about... Eurovision, so I played some of it, and and I did end up reading quite a bit while he was here because he was playing on his laptop, so I read quite a bit Saturday, anyways. But I didn't read and I didn't cross stitch during the finals because I really, really wanted to focus on that. I made I made a rice casserole with chicken and broccoli all in it. So I made that at 2 o'clock. So when it became 5, 5.30, I could just throw it in the oven. So I did do that. So the ones from the finals that I liked was Latvia, Norway, Israel, Lithuania, Ukraine, Finland, Croatia, and Austria. They now have judges voting. They have a judge vote. So each country gets gives 12 points to another country. They can't vote for their own, so they give it to another country. Just about all of them gave them to Switzerland. No, you should have heard me and Justin yelling at the TV. It was hilarious. We're yelling, no, no. And, and we're like, why? Why? No! So then, once that's done, so that put Switzerland at the very top, giving them all the 12 points from each country. There was 37 countries. Not all the countries gave it, but 95% of the countries gave them their 12 points to Switzerland, which put them at the top. Now we're going by the audience. We have no hope because Switzerland's so far ahead. So they start giving points. They get to, so they start at who's at the bottom as far as points go from the 12 points. And they get to United Kingdom. Yeah, in the United Kingdom, the song was okay. I really, really liked their performance. It was awesome. The audience gave them 
Zero points. What? Zero points over Switzerland? Really? Oh my God, you guys. I, this, mm, this is the first year I've watched Eurovision because I didn't know about it. Justin didn't know about it. Dylan never knew about it. Because Dylan was here Friday night. He's, he uh, hung out with me from like 4 o'clock till 7.30. Yeah. Uh, uh, they gave, So they're giving out the audience points. They gave out so many points to Croatia that Croatia is now at the top. Cool, because I really, really, really like Croatia. And Ukraine was up there as well. Um, Switzerland, we were on the edge of our seat. Switzerland, I forgot, needed how many votes? Like 180 to beat Croatia. They got like 210. Yeah. Switzerland. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know, people. I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyways, that's over, but I'll tell you what. I was on the edge of my seat praying. Every time they were giving out points, I'm going, not to Switzerland, not to Switzerland, not to Switzerland. I have nothing against the country of Switzerland. If you are from Switzerland and you watch me, oh, it has nothing to do with your country at all. Hmm. No. Mm -mm. Nope. So, yeah, was not, was not happy. Okay, Sunday. Saturday. The book that I finished was The Summer We Started Over by Nancy Thayer. I gave that, I believe, I don't, th I don't think I gave a five star for that. I think it was a four star. I still have to write up book reviews. I want to do that today and tomorrow. So, let's see. I gave it four and a half stars, The Summer We Started Over. It's about a family who had moved to Nantucket after a brother was killed in a motorcycle accident. Their mother up and left. Their mother didn't want to be a mother. Um, so the fa And the father was a professor. He decided he's going to take his two daughters and they're going to move to Nantucket and start over. The girls are not teenagers. They're young adults. The one he has a dream of opening up her own shop. The other one stuck around for a little while, fell in love with a guy, and broke his heart. Said she didn't ever want children, so she didn't want to be with him anymore. So she left. She moved to New York, and she's gone for a couple years, and she works as an assistant to an author who sells a ton of romance books. Well... Her sister needs her help. She's opening up her shop in on Memorial Weekend. She's really begging her sister, come help her. She gets to the house, and the house is looks like a hoarder show. Her father has been buying books and books and books and books. He was said he's going to write a book, but he hasn't written one yet. He's been writing. He's been writing for years. So they decide they're going to open up their barn, turn it into a used bookstore, and the sister that came from New York is going to help run it. Meanwhile, the author calls her and says, you need to come back. I have a stalker, blah, blah, blah. She relies on her so much. So she ends up coming to Nantucket. And, yeah. It was such a good book. It was such a good book. So, yeah, The Summer We Started Over by Nancy Thayer. It came out the beginning of this month, so it's already available. So that was Saturday. Then yesterday, I started and finished two books. 
Blast from the Past by Lucy Score. It's the third book in the Riley Thorne series. She is a psychic. This one, I only gave three stars. I like the storyline. I like the characters and the quirkiness. The one thing I cannot stand in this series is how these, what are the, the older people just barge in the, I mean, into her house, into Riley's house, her and Nick's. They just break in and cook breakfast, do whatever they want, whenever they want. I'm sorry, what? No, they don't, people don't do that. That's just rude. Other than that, I liked the books. I only gave it three stars because now I'm at the point where I can't stand these elderly neighbors at all. <clears throat> then I started another book called 27 Minutes. And that is by Ashley Tate. That came out at the end of January. I am now like all caught up on my net galley for this year. I have one more book to read from that galley. I have another one, but I DNF'd the first book to it, so I'm not even going to read the other book. But I do have one by, um, is it Allison Brennan? That came out in January. Yeah, Allison Brennan, The Missing Witness. It's the fifth book of a series. So I need to read the other four. And I might have. I need to go look. I own them all except for the second book. And that's on Kindle Unlimited. So I eventually want to read that series. But 27 minutes. Oh my gosh, you guys. So you have Grant and his sister Phoebe. They're in high school. And I forget. Hold on. Yeah, so Grant and Phoebe are brother and sister. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the woman's name that was in the truck with them when they got into a car accident, and I'm drawing a blank. I need to start writing notes. Anyways, there is another girl that was in the truck with them. They get into a car accident, and now it's 10 years later. The mom of the girl that was killed, because the sister was killed, she's now holding a memorial, which is bringing all kinds of memories to people. And there's another accident on the bridge where that happened of an elderly woman, and so now they want to take the bridge down because it's not safe. Also on that same night, which they call the event, another family's son went missing. He took off. They don't know where he is. And after he left, the father left the family. Up and just left. So Jane is now, is it Jane or June? June, I think, was taking care of her mom. And her mom just died of cancer. It's 10 years later, her mom just died of cancer. And um, not too long after that, her brother shows up at her door, and he's dying. And she wants to know where he's been, what he's been doing. He keeps telling her, just give me time, I'll tell you. I'll, just give me a couple days, I will tell you. So I'm waiting and waiting. I want to know what happened. So he tells her, I'm going to go to the memorial, memorial at the dean's house. Because her last name was Dean, Grant and Phoebe Dean. He's going to go there. He goes, you tell Grant that I want to talk to him. So June sees Grant and the woman, the other girl that was in the truck with them. She is a big major player in this story as well. She's messed up. That's all I can say is she's messed up. The end... Yeah, I don't know why I did not see that coming, but I didn't. Yeah, it was good. 
It's a thriller. 27 Minutes by Ashley Tate. If you like thrillers, check it out. I gave it four stars. Loved it. So that was my readathon weekend. So I ended up ki I killing. <laughs> I ended up reading one, two, three, five books. Five books over the weekend. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five books over the weekend. I'm enjoying just reading, not stitching, not listening to books, just sitting and reading, relaxing in the recliner. I had a blanket. I had three cats. I had one by my arm. I had one between my legs and another one on my chest. Usually it was Zoomer by my arm. It was Lucy up on my chest and Pearl down between my legs. So, yeah, they kept me warm. And it was a, a chilly chilly snowy yeah rainy weekend yep so that was my weekend how was yours i hope that you guys got a lot done um i need to get going i need to go craft and clean and i'm surprised i didn't hear from deborah yet <laughs> she says where are you so i'm gonna go craft and clean Today, I will be stitching on Hade Astrology Cat. Yeah, today and tomorrow. I'm hoping that this Thursday, this this Thursday is, it should be the cross stitch store um, stitch in. So, if it, it should be this Thursday, and I'll be going to that. Um, I need to, I don't know why, I don't usually take this out. I usually just take out the pages. So, yeah, I got to go do craft and clean. I set up my planner just a little bit different than I have been. I usually do, like, one row of everything I watched during the week and then one row of everything I read during the week. Now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to write for that day what I did. So, um... This last night was Tracker. This Wednesday, Walker's on, and Thursday is Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. This weekend is my cross-stitch weekend. So, yeah, that's what's going on. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great week. Love you guys. Bye-bye.